Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be breaking down the Lex Luthor trailer for Episode 15, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And I think it's maybe a little bit of a combination in terms of it being linked to Episode 16 as well, because I do believe, and as it says in the synopsis, Lex is going to be around for two episodes, so I think they might have mashed it all together because this trailer was obviously released before tonight's episode and also it is like a longer trailer than normal it's like a minute trailer so a lot more to break down so i believe it may be a mashup i don't know right now but if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any dc tv videos later this year okay so Lex Luthor. I'm not the biggest Lex Luthor fan. I like him in the animated series, he's pretty good in the comics, but I don't really like him in live action all too much, and I have to say, I haven't seen Smallville. And I'm not super hyped to see him on the show because, as I've been previously saying, I've seen Lex Luthor so many times, I just want to see like new Supergirl villains, like that's why Red Daughter intrigues me, and you know, Rain intrigued me last season, because you know, we don't really get to see them. We've never seen them on screen before, and that's what's so exciting. So, I have to say, I'm kind of on edge about this. I think there is qualities about the actor, John Cryer, that I do look forward to, especially seeing this trailer. But at the same time, I've seen Lex so many times, so we'll have to wait and see, but I do think he's best in the animated series myself. But, let's talk about this. Alright, so... Episode 15 and episode 16, like I said, is going to be Lex Luthor heavy, and then I reckon he's probably going to go off for the rest of the season. I don't see him sticking around, although the trailer sort of pins him as like a big bad that's going to be sort of around for a while, but he's not. He's just a guest star, he's not recurring or anything, so he's only going to be in two episodes probably. Alright, so let's break this down shot by shot. So the first shot we get to see Lena, and Lena is in some sort of building. I can't really pin it down but you see this shot and it goes breaking news and there is like you know it's all red and some sort of building is crumbling down and so f the inference from this is oh Lex has done this and so the next shot after this we get to see Lena and she is actually with Supergirl as you can see from the hair which is very intriguing so this is them talking about Lex so Supergirl knows by now Lex is the cause of all of this havoc that he's going to be causing and the next shot we get to see Lex as he's exiting prison as the doors open so I don't know the circumstances for him leaving prison but yeah it's going to be kind of weird seeing him out because we've only seen him in the past and this is like the first time and I guess there's going to be a reason for him to come out I don't think he's breaking out if I'm honest and so at the start of the trailer Lex actually says I'm doing this for us so in terms of him and Lena so he feels like it's beneficial to them, I guess. And so we get this shot, and this shot is of Kara as she's looking at... Ah, I don't know who it is, it could be Lena. But anyway, she says, we have to find him. And so then we move on to the next shot, and Lena says, the world can't live under a red sun. And so then it's revealed in the next shot, the skies are turning red. So this is really intriguing. So... The Red Sun stuff is obviously a relation to, you know, Slaver's Moon, we saw a Red Sun, and Red Suns, as you know in the comics, they're all over the universe, but they suck away Kryptonian's powers, so somehow Lex has been able to create a Red Sun, or make our sun turn red, so that Supergirl is going to lose her powers, and as he says, I want to see if the Kryptonian Pretender can bleed, and that is why he's doing the Red Sun, I have no idea how he's going to make it a red sun, but he wants to see if the Kryptonian Pretender, who is Supergirl, because obviously Superman was the first one, and his arch nemesis, so he wants to see if she can bleed, so that is the reason, and I find that intriguing to see how he actually does that. I think that's the most interesting part about Lex coming to the show. Alright, so moving on to the next shot, again, the red sun, you get to see the lighting's all changed, and Lena it seems to be like she's tied up or something on the chair actually because Lex is always behind her and you can see this in this shot and so we move on to the next shot and we get our first 
full look at Lex Luthor, John Cryer as Lex Luthor. So John was in one of the Superman original films, which is obviously a legacy casting. I don't really know him too well as an actor, so I can't judge him on that. But I think he looks the part and his voice definitely is the best thing about him in this trailer because I feel like it does sound like Lex Luthor, which is good. But I'm not sure about the beard. Lex doesn't normally have a beard. We'll see if that works or not. But moving on to the next shot, we get to see Kara as she's really worried. And it seems like in the background, you get to see a shimmer of that sort of red sunlight. And she looks kind of scared. So again, this is probably about midway through the episode. And then we see Jean and he's standing in a load of rubble. There's some fire next to him. So I guess he's been in some sort of big battle maybe against Lex, I don't know who it's against, but presumably Lex because he's the main focus of this trailer. Then the next shot, you know, very, very Lex Luthor in his suit, looking all, you know, nice and clean and whatever, and he's walking in quite a mischievous way. And so the next shot is this shot, and we see Lena and Lex standing next to each other as they are in some sort of lab, and they are analysing Superman's abilities, as it says there. So... I guess Lena's forcibly helping Lex, maybe he's got something on her, and they're actually looking at his skills, so I guess this is in preparation to trying to make Supergirl bleed, is looking at Superman and what's his abilities and what are his weaknesses, and maybe they find out about the Red Sun right there. And so the next shot is of Supergirl, and it's a reaction shot, as you see Melissa's face is kind of like, just in shock and she's looking over the shoulder so presumably Lex is in the background and so the next shot is Lex Luthor again just you know another shot nothing else to break down in terms of that and then we see Jean kneeling on the ground in his you know Martian gear and he's presumably praying and I believe he was in this last episode or the episode before I don't remember but Kara needs his help and He's presumably going to help, but she seems kind of confrontational, so maybe he's a bit against it. And so we get these various shots of Superman in the trailer. So as Lex talks about Superman and says, I was the man of tomorrow, not him. And you can see him sort of raging. And yeah, that's a bit peculiar. I don't know about that scene, but we'll have to wait and see about the episode. And so we move on to the next shot and he's, you know, clicking a button on his wristwatch and everything sort of lights up and maybe this is him activating the red sun I have no idea how he's doing it but then they say he's going to flood the whole city you're going to kill millions of people so I guess the red sun sort of links into this flooding a million flooding of the city pardon me and how it's going to kill millions of people and you get to see this next shot and Again, everything's really red and there's some sort of explosion. I'm guessing this is linked to both things. And so we see Supergirl as she's there next to Jean and they're presumably going to try and stop him. And this is a very weak looking Lex. As you can see, he kind of is on drugs and whatever because you can see in the background he's got the... I don't know what they call it in hospitals, but you know, you find them in the hospitals like a dripping bag or something and he looks really weak so I'm guessing this is probably the way that he gets out of prison maybe he pretends to be weak or maybe he does that on purpose so that he has to go out maybe I don't know and maybe Lena saves him because as we know in the photos he's going to be in Lena's home so you know the Luthor mansion or whatever you call it and so we move on to the next shot and Supergirl's getting flung into the air by this bluish explosion and the final shot of the trailer is just really the emphasis on him as a criminal and you know his hatred for Superman he says Superman made me do it so this is at a court and the jury is asking him you know why did you do it do you have any last words and I'm guessing this could be at the start of the episode but I think this might be at the end after he's been arrested for the Red Sun stuff and after he's been arrested for flooding the city or trying to do that so he blames on Superman as Lex Luthor does so very Lex Luthor like but moving on to some of the photos and then we'll quickly go over one of the synopsises for episode 16 and so this photo is inside Lena's house and it's inside the mansion 
and you see those hearts that she's been studying and so Lex is looking at them and he's there so he's going to somehow be liaisoning and actually kind of helping Lena in some way in this episode to do with her experiments and she's going to reveal stuff which is going to be very risky and I'm guessing this is all going to somehow relate into Red Daughter because you know that was the teaser at the end of last season to do with Lena and Red Daughter and how she was created and maybe the Red Sun actually links into Red Daughter. I'm guessing she's going to appear at some point. But we get this other photo of Lex inside the house and it's all Lena's experimentation stuff or maybe it's his now, I don't know. But we move on to the next shot and we got Supergirl looking at Jean and Jean is in his sort of suit attire and maybe this is in the rubble that we talked about earlier. And the final photo I want to talk about is this photo right here and you can see he's actually guarded so he does have people watching around him but at some point in the episode he's going to get free of them and they're all in Lena's current house. And so we just quickly move on and we'll talk about the episode 16 synopsis and so this episode is titled The House of L which is obviously a reference to the House of L, but a reference to Luther because it's not L as in E L, it's a House of L in terms of just L for Lex. So love that title, I think it's a great title. And so Lex is staying around for two episodes as this confirmed. So it says Lex Luthor continues to wreak havoc. In the wake of Lex Luthor's return, the show flashes back to what to what he's been doing for the last two years and how his secret machinations and plans have affected Supergirl and Lena. But anyway, so that teases the idea of him actually being behind the scenes or working at things, probably mainly to do with Lena and I guess to do with Supergirl, but yeah, I'm not sure about this because yeah, I don't think he's going to stick around for long and I don't think there is any need for him to be looking into Supergirl because he's so obsessed with Superman but you know Superman's off world and he's going to be on the show now so I guess they have to find a way to include him into Supergirl and everything from the past few seasons since Lena actually first came to the show so there's going to be flashbacks and it's going to sort of just be like a culmination of the last few years and maybe what he's been doing behind the scenes to sort of string things along so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos but anyway guys i will see you guys later goodbye